Hey there guys, this is Gary and welcome back to Get Going Fast, the place where we get into this excellent hobby of AI in a quick and efficient manner in which you might actually learn something. Yo, imagine that. So uh, today we're going to take a look at um, something that is coming out. It's not open source yet. It is available though and it is called Flux Context. That's with a K, all right? Because, you know, it's cooler if you misspell it. Like, if you say cool with a K, that's cooler than cool with a C. So, in the same way, we got flux context, all right? And we can hardly contain our excitement for it. So, as you notice, we're able to throw in a picture of this beautiful gal here. And then we put her on a jet ski. Yo, how uh, cool is that? We had done another one. Uh, let's see if I can find that really quickly here. Where we put her in the clouds. And there we go, some sort of religious icon it almost looks like. But as you can see, quite cool. It kept, uh, keeps the face on there. It keeps the, um, hold on, where am I at here? Ah. Keeps the face. <laughs> I can't see what the hell I'm doing. All right, uh, it keeps the face, keeps the hair, keeps the clothes. The clothes is impressive how well that's done that. So um, this is Flex Context. It's going to be... Um, here on the website you can play with it for free it's not open source yet only accessible by buying credits which we'll talk about here in just a little bit and give you our opinions on it but uh, before we do that I do want to thank you for liking the channel subscribing you guys are awesome seriously like I think you all agree that this AI community is cool and we're making a good community on online. There's a lot of jerks like you go online and there's a lot of people. They're making people feel bad. They're making people feel self-conscious and all this stuff. And uh, that's just the nature of the beast, but not here at get going fast um, and cognitive build. We're, we actually like each other and we treat each other good because we recognize that we're all doing the same thing. We're all learning and growing. And I appreciate you being part of that. You are seriously the better part of this whole community. So thank you very much for sharing that and bringing other people along with that. All right, well, let's get on into looking at Flux Context. It's gonna be a short video um, as we just kind of go over some of the small details about it and the pricing and uh, talk about maybe the future of where this is going. Let's do it, yo. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pop on over to the browser here. And uh, we're going to be looking for this page. You can just get here by doing a simple Google search of flux context <laughs> that was a good one flux all right I, I i sit i'd like to say i sit around and practice that but it just comes natural um so here we got it this is the actual page so it says introducing flux one context in the bfl pray uh playground this is your best friend for life playground Today we're excited to release Flux One Context, a suite of sweet generative flow matching models that allow you to generate and edit images. Unlike existing text -to image models, the Flux One Context family performs in-context image generation, allowing you to prompt with both text and images. That's pretty awesome. So this is multimodal, in other words. Um, it's incredible where we're getting. At. So just a year ago, we were looking at multimodal stuff, and it was uh, it was pretty kind of not out of grasp, but it was a lot. And you definitely either was images or whatever. They're creating models now that you can throw in text and images, whatever, and it's going to prompt. Because I want to tell you the dirty little secret. At the end of the day, it all gets tokenized the same. <gasps> Whether you're using words or images or whatever, it's all getting digitized, getting through it into these huge long numbers and thrown out into this matrix uh, of, uh, what is it, vector mathematics, and it's all getting... So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it's a sound, it doesn't matter if it's a word, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, a text, it doesn't matter if it's an image, it doesn't matter what it is, because it all gets tokenized the same way, and that's the brilliance of this stuff. So um, we've reached a point now where you can throw your image in there. So throw the picture of the girl in there, uh, like this one, you say, here she is, um, put snow on her head, standing in a snowy place. Here, put her, you know, whatever. And notice how good it keeps her clothes. So that's pretty awesome. Look at this bird. 
Um, so look, at, they did a context image generated with Flux one. So they created this using Flux, and they put a bird with um, um, <laughs> with the VR set on its head. And then they're over here, image context from A. The bird is now sitting in a beer and enjoying a bar. So they created this image. They used this basically image to image, okay? And they said, bird's now sitting in a bar enjoying a beer. There are two of these birds. Okay, so then it threw this one into here. So it created the bird. Then it said, okay, now there's two of them. Then it put the two of them in there. It says, uh, watch them from behind. See, so they're creating an image and throwing it in. Then they're creating an image, throwing it in. The two bird characters are now sitting in the movie theater. Look at that. That's great. Two bird characters are now grocery shopping. The two bird characters are now celebrating a successful lunch. Oh, those sweet little birds. hey -o. So, uh. This is basically what we're looking at. So it is not open. So you're welcome to read all of this if you want. Um, tilt here. Look at this. Tilt her head towards the camera. And make her laugh. That's incredible. Um, now I'm going to point something out here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to do one of these look me in the eyes thing. The future of face swapping. Boom. All right. So someone pointed out that that this is an amazing face swap, which it kind of is. It's not actually swapping the face, but you're taking an image of a person and you're maintaining the face, which means you can do anything with this. Now, guaranteed, there are going to be limits on. First of all, this is um, black, uh, what is it, black, black forest. So the flux model is heavily, um, what do you call it, uh, it's heavily regulated, okay? You can't do not safe for work stuff with f this stuff. So I'm imagining if you're going to throw a picture of a girl in there and you're going to say, um, and you're going to say something like, uh, she's in a bikini, you know, eating a banana or something like that, it's not going to do it, okay? And that's going to get into uh, legal legality stuff. So I'm guaranteed you're not going to be able to do that stuff. But this does show you where uh, it's going. And I would not be surprised if within the next couple months we get some new face swapping software, which would be awesome. I love rope. And in fact, you guys should actually, if you really want to do some good face swapping, go to rope.getgoingfast.pro and download it. Rope is awesome. Okay. You get the installer here. You can get going real fast. Okay. But, um, hey, if this comes out open source, if we get some key jai nodes going on uh, with this kind of thing. Um, face swap, we could get our next jump in face swapping software, which would be really cool. All right. Uh, so look at the changing text. That's awesome. Um, change it to a nightclub, blah, 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 blah. Here's uh, after six iterations, the generator is usually degraded, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't know what this all about. And you can read all that. So the bottom line is we're the get going fast people. You take the time and read it and comprehend if you want it. We're busy making stuff with this. Yo. So what we're going to do is this same thing. We're going to go over and we're going to type in flux context. And notice there's one over here at flux.1ai. Let's click here. And this is where we created this image over here. So they're going to give you some free credits here that you can play with this. Okay. Right now, there is no way to run this without paying for it. Okay. So you, there's a couple things you either got to go here and you got to buy credits, but I'm going to tell you it's not cheap. Okay. So you pay like uh, 11 bucks a month and you get 400 credits. Okay. But check this out. It costs you five credits to generate. Okay, so what's four hundred divided by five? What is that like? Uh, you know, what is it eight or so? You got like eighty images or something like that. That's really doesn't seem like a lot to me. But uh, I don't know. Seems like seems like a lot of money for not so much. But whatever. You know, maybe eighty is a lot. So. Um, but that's certainly a solution, okay? You can go the way. There are nodes that you can use over here on Comfy UI, okay? But I'm going to show you again. Even if you click run, you get it all set up, okay? Watch what happens. You got to buy credits through Comfy UI. So Comfy UI is actually charging you to use their workflow, okay? So to use this stuff in here... Um, you got to pay somebody, okay? Uh, once this goes open source, though, then definitely Kijai will come out with some nodes. Uh, we'll be getting quants of this. And like I said, all of a sudden, face swapping 
probably going to get a big bump, which is pretty exciting. I know I already said that, but I'm truly excited. Okay, so anyway, so that's how you can play around with this stuff, okay? You can do the comfy nodes. If you want to find that comfy workflow, do this. Type flux, context, and then just type comfy UI. And it's going to bring you up this one here, Comfy UI Context. And then you can click here and go through there. Basically, you load up your Comfy UI and you got to throw this into it. And then you're, there, there's a process. You're going to have to log in. Okay, down here, it actually gives some directions. Um, you got to log in to your Comfy UI. So to do that, you would click over here, down that bottom left. And then there's a user here. So you can log in there then you're going to have access to running this stuff okay i did by the way have some issues with they had a node called image stitch um and so i had to go add my own i would add node down here under this xizer nodes and then used their uh image stitch thing and i just changed it up but um so you can do that but again you're gonna have to pay for it all right so uh we threw in picture chickley there she is running that. Okay, whoops, we threw in that other one. Let's try one more. I'll use up, I'll see if I got one more free credit in here. I'm gonna say, the woman is hunting a deer with a, uh, with a large rifle. Let's go to 308. She is sitting on an ATV. And this is because I live in Idaho. This is the kind of stuff we do. Yo. All right. Let's see uh, if it'll do it. Um, let's see if it gives us one more credit here. Oh, uh, look. And I'm out of credits. Oh, sad. So I got two images, okay, out of that. Um, it is what it is. You can always log in under another account and try that. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do that real quick. And there we go. There we have it. So I'm not sure who holds a rifle like that, but still, that's pretty amazing. It kept the shirt and the uh, the shawl or whatever you call that, and reasonable looking 308 there. Again, that's no way she's holding that like that, but still, um, it's incredible. That's a great face. That's a great that's a great image. So there it is. Flex context, guys. Go at it. Have fun with it. Um, the future, the future of face swap, and probably yo. Um, we'll see what happens. It's so exciting. We're we're making so much ground so fast. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy that. Um, be sure to check us out on the social media on Instagram. You can find us at Cogni Build. We're over on Reddit as it get going fast, and um, you can find us on X under Cogni Building. Come hang out with us on the discord and as well i got my music so go do a search for jim day and the better stories if you guys need personal help with any of your projects you can obviously hire my time and as always you can come be a part of our community at get going fast and get all this stuff for free yo all right we will catch you later and uh, as usual you stay good <laughs>